this year I put all the controls on the back of the house instead of the front of the house. Keep the uh, the mess out of sight. I wanted to keep it dry. I don't have a porch back here, so I put it up under the awning. I've got zip ties holding it to the uh, the netting up there that keeps the birds out. So I've got the one four junk four uh, gang box and then a single gang box. Um, got them all zip tied and taped together and then below that you can see a breadboard with a, uh, a nanode below it. Ah, there we go. There's a great big heat sink on the very inefficient power regulator on it. I don't know why it was getting so hot with only 9 volts but it was. So it's got a heat sink on it. It's got the ethernet cable going in. You can see it flickering a little bit when there's some network activity. And uh, let's go this way. That is a Teensy Plus Plus that I've got wired into the Nanode. Gives me a lot more RAM and a lot more I.O. You can see the little speaker there. It beeps anytime somebody changes mode. Here, let me do that right now. Um, there we go. It beeped. I don't know if you could hear that, but yeah. So let's back this up. Okay. Um, I tried to extend the the uh, Christmas light wires. You see all that red and black. That's uh, speaker wire that I, I cut the uh, the ends off of the Christmas lights and extended them. Uh, tried to use Pythagorean's, Pythagorean's theorem, and uh, I got some of them wrong. Hence the extension cords. Six of them were the right length, and uh, four of them were just a hair too short. I don't know. Maybe my roof's not flat. I don't know. But. Uh, Let's see. I've got this power strip. There's two cords for one cord for the uh, the big junction box, and another cord for the other junction box, and then a little power brick for the uh, Arduino setup. Let's see. You can climb a ladder while I'm using the camera. Here we go. You can see the cords stretching out across my roof. I'm not actually going to climb up here because the ladder's too short. It's dangerous. But that's how it works. Okay, we'll go out to the front now. That is my broadcast tower. I call it a broadcast tower anyways because it's broadcasting the video feed. Um, it's just uh, a couple of barrels that I had laying around. Uh, I painted them green because uh, they were kind of ugly <laughs> before I painted them green. This is a fish tank. I painted all the glass except for the front black so that light wouldn't get in there and uh, cause a reflection on the surface the camera has to look through. There's a webcam right there. You can see it kind of. Yeah, That's the webcam. See the reflection problem I was talking about? Okay. I built this wooden contraption in here. It lifts the computer. There, There's a uh, what's called a net top. It's essentially a, a netbook without a uh, without a screen in there. It's an atom based net top computer. Um, anyways, that's what I'm using for a computer in there. Uh, mostly because it fits. Um, but this this wooden contraption keeps it six inches up from the bottom so it should be pretty water water resistant up there. Um, under the, this is an upside down fish tank by the way. Um, under the fish tank um, I've got a chunk of wood that I've uh, coated with a fiberglass resin so that it, it's more waterproof and uh, that keeps the wind from blowing the water up underneath so I think it's going to be pretty waterproof and uh, the heat from the computer should be enough to keep this thing from frosting on cold nights um, I'll probably have to take some rain x to the front of this to keep the rain from beating up all over it when it's raining though we'll see there's the lights on the roof um, you just can't see them in the daylight. Yeah. yeah. You can see them flickering a little bit when I get really close. But I've got ten strings this year. Last year I only had eight. They're uh, in rows. Each uh, row is one channel, ten channels. We've got these uh, support wires to keep the barrels from blowing over in the wind because we get some pretty nice wind storms in November. This piece of tape here is to keep the camera from seeing my porch to give us a little bit of privacy so you can only see the roof upward. <laughs> 